Hey everyone, welcome back. If you've ever wanted to create a stunning website fast but didn't know where to start, this video is for you. Today I'll walk you through how to use Webflow templates step by step. By the end, you'll know exactly how to pick, use, and customize a template so your site looks professional, no design degree required. Let's jump right in. To start, go to your Webflow dashboard. This is like your mission control for every website you build. At the top, you'll see the option to create a new site. Go ahead and click on that. This is the first step towards taking your project from just an idea to a beautiful, functional website. Once you've clicked to make your new site, you'll be greeted by the template selection screen, here, where things start to get exciting. You'll see a bunch of templates, each designed for different needs. Imagine you're walking through a showroom full of pre-made websites. You've got categories for business, blogs, portfolios, and tons more. Take your time browsing here. If you know what type of website you need, like a portfolio to showcase your work or a business site for your startup, you can filter by category to narrow down your options. It's a bit like shopping for clothes. Picking the right style makes a big difference in how you'll feel about your site. Now, if budget is a concern or you just want to start simple, you can also filter by free or paid templates. Just look at the top for those filters and selecting free will instantly show you all the no-cost options. If you want to invest a bit more, some of the paid templates come with extra features, but don't worry. The free ones are incredibly robust, too. For those of you wanting an even easier time, Webflow now offers AI-powered template suggestions. You'll see an option for AI Assistant compatible sites. If you have this available, go ahead and give it a try. Just answer a few questions about your project, and Webflow's AI will suggest templates that fit your description. It's sort of like having a personal website designer giving you tailored recommendations. Once you've looked around and found a template that catches your eye, don't rush, take a second to preview it. Hover over the template and you'll see details pop up along with the option to preview. Clicking into the preview gives you a feel for how the template looks and behaves, almost like test driving a car before you buy it. Make sure to click through the different pages and see if the layout suits your needs. After you've made your pick, it's time to select that template and start building. I've actually made my own template here as an example, so I'll walk you through what happens next. When you add a template to your new site, Webflow imports everything for you, the layout, styles, pictures, and sometimes even placeholder text. This means you don't have to reinvent the wheel, you're starting with a fully functional foundation. From here, it's all about customization. Think of your template as the scaffolding for your website, it gives you structure, but you get to decorate. Swap out images with your own, change the fonts and colors, add new sections, and delete parts you don't need. Webflow makes this super intuitive. For example, if you want your homepage to feature your company's logo instead of the stock one, just click and swap it out. If you want to add a new contact form or gallery, drag and drop those elements where you want them. Don't be afraid to experiment. You can always undo changes if something doesn't work. And that's really all there is to it. Webflow templates let you get a head start on your website, whether you're building for yourself or a client. If something doesn't look right at first, take a breath. It might take a few tries to get everything perfect, and that's totally normal. If this helped you, make sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions about templates or customizing your site. And don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth Webflow tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy building.